Yeah, good morning everyone. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the stock market again. Very good bounce market. PSEI is now at ano na ba yun? PSEI is at seven nine eight three, but uh, it's less than eight thousand. But more importantly, nag bounce na siya sa pullback niya. So that's a good sign for PSEI. This is looking good. This is looking good for PSEI. Um, we're gonna be talking about uh, recommendations ko for today. Uh, I have medyo mahababa na list, but, but that's because the market bounce and ang ganda ng mga positions ng mga stocks ngayon. So, low risk. So, those are the picks. Yan po pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Um, ano tawag ito? I have a newsletter. Uh, I started, uh, I'll be starting one this week. Uh, the registration, it's free, right? Reg, uh, gabi-gabi ko po yan gag- gagawin <laughs> additional sa mga uh, tulong natin uh, registrations down at the uh, what they call this at the video description um, please click on it and register para makasali pa kayo sa uh, sa sa newsletter it's it will be focusing more in the international market since that is where I am uh, focusing all my attention to as of the moment kaya po um, everything na mapag-aaralan ko during that day ilalagay ko po sa newspaper share ko po sa inyo lahat since wala tayong daily grind sa international market so yung newsletter ang gagawin ko anyone can join uh, just go to the registration link and that's for free so hopefully makatulong naman sa inyo right um, let me just uh, let's start Yan. So, I'll go to the comments. Uh, close this one right here. Let's go. Hey, Jeffrey Sahagun, good morning. Vibes ka Financial Freedom 101. Good morning, Jeffrey. Bungoy Binday, morning, Sir Lloyd. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Very beautiful day today. Intre Pinoy. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Bungoy Binday, Sir Makisuyo pala ako. Pasilip kay Ani at CHP. Daming salamat po. I'll write that down. So I'll just go along the comments and check the charts right away, di ba? I think that will be a nice, uh, uh, mas maganda pa ganun kasi up to date. Hindi na parang, hindi na malamig yung comments nyo. A and I. Alright, so Ani naman. Uh, let's go full screen on Ani. Alright, so so far so good. I recommended Ani. Was that last Friday? Right, I think I recommended Ani last week. And it's doing well. So congratulations sa mga pumasok. I think it's still good. Right, so so far so good. Um, we have a very quick support for Ani, so that's the best entry point. But overall, okay, parang ang ang galaw ni Ani. I'm not recommending Ani today since gumalaw na siya. I recommended that last Friday. We're still good to go. CHP, uh, may comment about my question about CS CHP. So far, uh, showing us a downtrend. So it's creating lower lows and lower um lower highs and lower lows right here. Previous low, lower low. So that's a downtrend, guys. Okay. So, konti ingat muna kay CHP. Uh, iwas muna. Um, let me go to ano, um, comments again. Aldrin Orpilla, Sir Lloyd, ano po ibig sabihin ng dividend? Uh, ano pa, ano, uh, ano po ibig pag ang dividend type ay stock? Uh, marami kasi eh. Dalawa naman kasi yan. Eh. Um, dividend type is, ang hinihintay natin is common, right? Common stocks, dividends. Kasi may preferred shares, tsaka common shares. Um, the one that we are able the shares that we are able to buy in the market itong para if ever you're directly trading those those are called common shares so common stocks po yan um there are stocks kasi na preferred stocks and sila yung priority sa sa, sa what they call this uh, dividends um pero may kamahalan yun right so if ever uh, preferred shares that's for stocks that you bought from preferred uh preferred buying um for example yung kay Picor lately nag-offer sila ng ng preferred shares diba as that was that 1000 per stock so it's around that price and then um yung common shares is ito yung mga nabibili natin so tingnan niyo po ang dividends na sinasabi is it for preferred shares or if it, is it for common share, uh common stocks right hops sir IRC po I'll let's open IRC Let's see, IRC, nagpo-pullback pa. 
So, iwas lang muna. There is a possible bounce area at this point. This is the previous resistance. So, tignan nyo po at 1.94, baka mag-bounce sa IRC uh, since that's a breakout. So far, it's doing pullback. I won't be recommending that yet. So, next entry point, I can recommend it again. Right, so, uh, Yoni Pioca, good morning. Uku788, sir. Lloyd, my friending order tayo sa CERN or pullback, on pullback. Um, meron akong pending order sa CERN. Let me double check my uh, my entry, okay? Um, let me just uh, open eToro really quick. Wala naman tayong pending order. Uh, no pending orders. Take me back to my portfolio. Baka ikaw may ano. Uh, I don't have any pending order right now. So, these are the things that are inside our port. Wala tayong pending order sa CERN as of the moment. Uh, you, uh, you, Euclid or Beso, good morning, sir. Lloyd and Laika, good morning then. Erwin Asadilio, mind buntag, sir Lloyd. PHA, CPG, and T. Si PHA... Ganda ng galaw eh. Slowly but surely, PHA is still going up. So, uh, I won't be recommending it yet as of the moment. I will recommend it siguro mamaya na pag-pullback niya. Uh, always buy the dips. Yun lang ang recommendation ka PHA. Whenever it dips and then bounces, that's when you buy it and try to buy more. Uh, our goal here is not the short-term movement. Pero pwede pa rin short-term movement. Malaking gains pa rin ito. Uh, but yeah, uh, recommendation ko sa PHA is for long, uh, long uh, mid, mid to long term muna. Um, plano ko dyan. I'll tell you guys is I'm gonna be selling on news. Pag may lumabas na ng news dyan, what are their projects? with the money that they have. Doon, doon, doon pa ako magbebenta. Sell half even on that, at that point. Rimaline Aguinaldo, good morning. Mary June, um, good, uh, sorry. Mary June, good morning, sir. Insights po kay Meg at Seb. Uh, let's open those, uh, the charts of those two. Meg. Alright, so nagpupullback pa si Meg. Ambang lang tayo. Uh, Seb, uh, I'm watching Meg also. Si Seb din nasa taas pa, so wait tayo ng pullback. Those are non-entry points, right? Uh, malayo po yan sa position traders na entry. So, ingat lang. Uh, Julius Galero, sir, good morning. Insights po, Maxes, MPI, AEV, SSI. Right. Um, I'll pull this one by one. Maxes is in my recommendation for today. So, uh, and MPI is in my recommendations for today. So, uh, dadaanan natin yan. Hindi ko muna babasahin. And then, AEV. Kamusta natin si AEV? Medyo, ang hirap ang entry point ni AEV. Eh, right? Andyan siya nag-bounce. Eh. But, but so far, andyan, meron naman support dyan. You can test it out. AEV so far so good. It's, it's starting a strong trend. So... I think, yeah, pwede sa AEV. It's just that I'm really waiting for good pullback. Ito may hirap pag nakalipad na yung stock eh. Uh, hirap na maghanap ng entry. Um, but pwede nyo po testing yun dyan. SSI. Ito si SSI. Um, Nag-breakout na naman si SSI. Uh, we'll wait for a pullback or you can use a breakout strategy. This is an aggressive entry. I don't really like breakouts, especially in breakouts na andito sa taas. Um... I will wait for a pullback as much as possible or make a confirmation about this breakout. You don't have to be really aggressive in these stocks right now. But SSI, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay SSI. Tindi, di ba? Eric Espeo, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Um, pasilip po kay Now at Tech. May T ako nabasa kanina para hindi ko natignan. Ayun, kay Erwin Acedillo. PHA CPG pala. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, CPG, um, hindi ko nabasa yung lahat ng, uh, hindi ko na-check yung lahat ng stock on uh, yung request niya. Si CPG, uy, si CPG, pull back and bounce. This is good for CPG. I'd say yes, um, the, it, the stock is on a good uptrend. This is a good pullback. Pwede niyo po i-testing ito. Use the MA20 as your support. Congratulations, good find, um, Erwin. Um, and so, also si T, nagpo-pullback pa. So, let's stay away from T for now. Uh, diba ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo magiging formation ni T most probably it's gonna form a descending triangle um, since wala naman talagang strong catalyst for this exaggerated move so we'll see what will happen in the future uh, as much as possible sa support ay pumasok of course right 
that's for T. Um, so, yun. Uh, punta na ako kay Eric Espejo. Yung request niya is now. Right, si now, nagpo-pullback pa. Abangan lang natin. And that's the reason why hindi po kayo maghahabol dyan sa taas. Kasi bonggang ipit ang nangyayari sa inyo. If ever humabol kayo dyan sa taas. Kasi nagpa-hype na naman kayo. That's negative 17% from the top. Right? So, I'm not sure sino mga bumibili dyan. Right, we recommended now here. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay now. It's on a pullback, so we're waiting for the bounce for now. And um, tech. Uh, tignan natin si tech. I hope hindi kayo naipit sa ganun, ha? Wala akong tinuturong ganyan. Um, sayang yung tinuturo ko sa inyo kung nagpaipit kayo sa ganun. <clears throat> si tech medyo pababa pa eh. Even though the fundamentals of the company is doing well, um, lately, maganda naman yung earnings nila. Ah, ito, first quarter pala ng pabigat sa kanya. Maganda naman yung annual earnings. Yung first quarter earnings niya, negative 98%. Most probably, that's the co that, that caused the heavy downtrend. So, for now, downtrend pa si Tech. Iwas lang muna. Blake, Adia, Aidan Ong, Aba. Right, si Aba, medyo mataas na. Uh, when we recommended it, dito sa baba. And then, there it is. Starting to go up already. Um, don't wanna recommend it. Uh, I don't wanna recommend ABBA as of the moment since we have resistances right here. Abang lang tayo ng pullback. Maganda yung price action niya. Starting to make higher highs. Let's wait wait for the higher low before we enter. Uh, have that discipline. Okay? Uh, si Web naman, nagba-bounce na. So, this is good for Web, right? Um, so far, so good. Maganda naman yung bounce ni Web. You can test it out. Just get in near that support as much as you can. Make sure your risk to reward ratio is, I mean, your, you follow your risk plan. Kung magkano lang i-risk mo, just cut your losses if you're, if you're wrong. Okay? Si Fen naman, si Fen nagre-recover na eh. Alright. Um, Nagpo-pullback pa. Medyo maliit na lang yung ano niya. Maliit na lang yung momentum niya. I don't wanna recommend Fen while it's up there. If you see this, this is a bearish, bearish signal. Momentum is telling us na, pababa, na habang pataas ang presyo, Momentum is going down, so it's really hard to uh, recommend that there. I don't want to be irresponsible with my trading. If you want to invest in Fen, yeah, you don't really care where you are going to enter. So you can enter there if ever investor kayo. Kasi pag bumagsak yan, for sure, investor na talaga kayo. So <laughs> I don't want to recommend it, especially for traders. We're teaching um, trading here. So, that's not a good trading entry. Uh, Marco Barin, hello coach. Lloyd, Jerry, CDC, Rock po. Um, Jerry, let's check out Jerry. I am load ni Jerry. So, ayan. Global Estate Resorts Incorporated. Um, we're seeing lower highs. Eh? It's, it's a mix of both. Um, si Jerry... It's at it's at its highest peak. Uh, just follow the trend na lang kay Jerry. Um, follow the trend line or MA20. If it bounces, then yes, maybe we can test it out. But I am shaky with Jerry. I don't want to recommend it up here when it's showing us a uh, head and shoulder pattern. Right? So, if makita niyo po yan, that's a head and shoulder pattern. For those who don't know what a head and shoulder pattern is, it's a bearish signal. It's usually a uh, what they call this? It's a reversal pattern na na-hit na yung peak niya. So, medyo mahirap yun si Jerry right now. Uh, I don't want to recommend it yet. Uh, best entry point is if it does break out from the resistances. So, yun na yung, um, yun na yung, ano niya, um, yun yung signal niya na hindi nag-sustain yung bearish pattern. So, just wait na lang tayo kay Jerry. CDC, uh, ayaw mag, ang bagal mag-load ni Investagrams ngayon na. Ah. Uh, CDC, uh, so far, so good. Um, really hard to tell. Uh, I will wait for CDC to pull back instead. Pag nag-pull back yan and then bounce, that will be my entry point since wala naman volume dyan sa taas. So, I think it's gonna pull back even uh, pull back down even back <clears throat> even more. So, I'll wait for it to do a pull back before I want to recommend it. If it doesn't pull back, then I won't let I won't get in that stock. Uh, rock naman. Bagal mag-load. Alright, so we're uh, we're getting, ano, uh, we're getting slow responses, dead air. So, rock, 
good momentum kay Rock though we are res at resistance levels. Let's wait for Rock to pull back. Ayun po yung trend line niya. Antay niyo lang po mag-pull back and bounce before you wanna enter. Ganda nito kahapon, no? I mean last Friday, oh. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Rock. Ang ganda ng reversal niya. <clears throat> Engulfing pattern, di ba? Ito yung sinasa tinuturo ko lagi sa inyo. Engulfing pattern. The I recommended Rock here at this, um, what they call this, uh, this bullet band trigger and MA20 bounce and then there it is taas diba so MA20 again was that here can't remember when but I recommended rock during that pullback so antayin lang tayo ng next na pullback right Emily Gold's morning sir ISM po ulit uh, si ISM is doing well alright um, nag recover sa MA20 so for those who want to trade ISM I'd say, yeah, use the MA20 as your support should you should you want to enter it or this support right here kung gusto nyo pong pasukin si ISM. Uh, the stock is still showing us bullish signal. So I'd say, yes, that's a buy for for me. Um, same with C. Wag kasama yan sila C. Alright, si C naman, nag, uh, after the pullback, MA20 bounce. So yeah, that's a good entry point also si C. Roland, Yamela, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ano masasabi nyo sa dividend ng CDC? I haven't checked it out. Um, does it show here? Yeah, alright. So, ah, kaya pala ni pitinanong nyo. X date is July 2. Uh, record date, payment date. This is stock dividends 5%. I wanna check this out later. Uh, declaration of stock dividends. Alright, tingnan ko po yan in a bit. Roland Hamela, good morning. Uh, Gear Trader, good morning po sir. ISM, MRC, Togo, and PHA. Uh, nga pala guys, kindly, uh, what they call this, um, share the video. Uh, Pakishare po sa Facebook walls niyo So that, ang mga friends ninyo, uh, ma-curious naman about the stock market. It starts there. It sparked their curiosity. And then, also to your trading groups, please share the video to your trading groups. Para naman ang mga newbies doon, malaman nila that there's a program like this that can help them in their stock market journey. Right? Um, tingnan ko na ito. Unclassified common shares. Ay, ito. Maganda. Um, I think this is for common shares. CDC declaration of 5% stock dividends, a special meeting, 5% stock, uh, stock dividends to stockholders. Yeah, I think this is for common shares. Uh, I'll just double check. Uh, but there, nagsabi kasi dito, eh, number of common shares, outstanding amount of debt, outstanding. Oh, no, no, no. That's not, uh, no. The stock dividends will be taken from the initial capital stock. And shall be declared from an, uh, an appropriate retained earnings company at December 31. No fractional shares will be issued. Kung 5% lang, I think that's common shares kasi maliit lang naman. Pero, okay, ganun pa rin eh. Stock dividends rate. Yeah, I think this is common shares. I just wanna double check this with a, ano, with a broker friend of mine. I'll get back to you on this, guys. Right. Um, wala kasi na, hindi naka ano, hindi naka specify eh. but I think it is I just wanna be sure don't wanna answer your question for re for sure uh, kasi hindi ko po makita right so for now I'll get back to you on that um, Gear Trader morning ISM uh, well, we talked about ISM already let's go to alang ha Set up ko lang ulit. MRC, MRC is in my recommendation for today. Tugo, Tugo is lately going, showing us good signals right here. So, pababa na yung pressure niya. But RSA is starting to pick up. So, yeah, Tugo um, is starting to go okay. Right? Um, buy, I would say this is already, uh, this has bottomed out already. Yeah, uh, you can test the support of Tugo should you want to. I think tuloy na yung pagbili ni CLC kay Tugo. So, that will be a very big uh, that would be a very big um, move for Togo. Oi, Hern Slim. Uh, Hernan, thank you so much for the uh, super chat donation. That will be a very big help for the channel. Thank you so much po. Annie Lynn, good AM. Can you, uh, can you, ah, saan yun? Can, can we go in M wide? Thanks. Let's check out M wide. You can always get in. But I'm not sure if it's at a good position right now. Downtrend pa po. Um, but the momentum of the downtrend is starting to slow down. But for now, wag pumu muna, pababa pa siya. Let's see if it sustains sometime soon and gives us a reversal signal. But for now, pababa pa po ng pababa si M wide. So, still on a downtrend, stay away for now. 
Rolando, na ganhon, maing buntag sir. Hope everything is okay so far. Doing good in my eToro account. Insights lang, um, insights lang the sa aba, PHA and ISM. So we aba, PHA, ISM. We talked about this just now, so I'll, I'll skip this already. Congratulations sa eToro mo. I have so many friends right now who's doing well in eToro, even doing better than me this month. Right? So, <laughs> I've been really cautious in my trading. So, hindi ko na huli yung mga bounce. But, the good thing is, there's always pullback. So, nag-aabang lang ako ng pullback. Congratulations, Orlando. Guys, eToro. If you haven't created an eToro account yet, create an eToro account. Please use my link in making an account. I'm gonna be doing a newsletter for the international market, which you can trade on your, if you have other international accounts for trading, go ahead. Or if you have eToro, I will strongly recommend eToro. Ang kagandaan kasi ni eToro, it's, it's CFD trading. Right? CFD meaning, for example, um, let me share my stock. I mean, my my chart. Ay, ganito kasi yan. This is the beauty of eToro. For example, you wanna, tra you wanna invest in, um, uh, let's say, Amazon. Amazon. Ano ba yung Amazon? Amazon. Yeah, to. Si Amy AMZN. Right? So, Amazon stock. It's up right now. The problem with Amazon stock is $1,804 per stock na po si Amazon. So, if you convert that into peso, that's around 80,000? Right? 90,000 pesos? Right? So, that's the problem right now. Kasi, yeah, around 90,000 pesos just for one stock, right? So, napakahirap po para sa atin na mag-invest sa ganyan, di ba? Uh, others are starting with just 10,000 pesos. How in the world can you invest in Amazon, a very good company, if you only have 10,000 pesos, di ba? That's common stock trading. But in CFD, sa eToro, which is using CFD style, with just $50, you can already invest a portion of your money with Amazon. Right? Hindi nga lang mapapangalan sa inyo yung stock kasi konting ang portion lang ng stock ang binili nyo. But at very, the very least, you are able to um, dip your your feet in the international market kay Amazon diba? with just $50. That's amazing. right? I don't care if the stock is not listed under me but as long as my money uh, has the value of Amazon. And whenever Amazon goes up, my money goes up with it. Diba? So that's the beauty of eToro. You don't have to have large amounts of money so that you can participate in the international market. Si Amazon, nag-break na ng downtrend niya. So it's, um, we're waiting for the pullback and bounce for Amazon. Definitely, definitely good price action for Amazon. Diba? So hopefully, gumawa na kayo interna uh, ng eToro account. If not yet, please use my link. Malaki tulong po yan sa akin kung if link, nyo ang link ko ang gagamitin ninyo. So please use my link and then register to my newsletter. Andyan po sa video description yung registration link. Okay? Um, register to my newsletter. Uh, lahat ng mga matututunan ko sa international market during my studying. I'm gonna be posting it on a newsletter. And as much as possible, I will send one every day, most probably every other day, right, for uh, for that newsletter, right? Uh, kasama na rin dyan yung some of my PSE, if ever I have any PSE uh, details about PSE stocks, I'll include it there. But majority of it will be in the international market because I'm gonna be spending more effort on the international market. So I'm sharing everything I'll be learning in the international market. Also, some eToro guidelines, if there are any I can find, I'll include it in the newsletter. And it's for free, guys, right? So it's for free. Uh, just go to the link, right? I'm gonna share all my learnings for free to you guys, okay? Just create an eToro account using my link. Yun lang po ang kapalit. <laughs> Rolando J Jr. Naganhon. So, we talked about this already. R. Deluge, Chua, um, Kaloy, 62. Good morning, Idol. Wait, good morning. Yoni, uh, I'm not sure if that's for me or that's for Kaloy. <laughs> Yoni Pio Kahay, Sir LR, please. Right, si LR, maganda na yung pinapakita ni LR. Right, si LR, um, it broke its MA20 already. So, I think LR is going to do sideways. I cannot I cannot recommend it here because that's too aggressive of an entry. We will need further price action to know for sure if that is already a support right there. So, I don't want to enter LR yet. I don't want to recommend it yet as of the moment. But definitely LR soon. It's in my watch list. Uh, we'll wait for the stock to create a new support for our entry. For now, wag muna. Um, Bull and Bear, good day. Tambay. 
Happy Tambay. Good morning, Sir Lloyd ABG. Alright, ABG. So far, so good. Si ABG nagsusustain naman yung pullback niya. So, really hard to tell right now. Maybe a breakout will be a good entry point for ABG. That's a flag pattern right there. Um, ABG BSC. BSC. Yeah, we talked about ABBA already. So, BSC. Okay. So, andyan na po sa MA20 si BSC. Let's see if it will bounce at MA20. That will be a good entry point if it bounces at MA20. So, use MA20 as your support if ever. Alright. Omar. Mendoza, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Musta po ISM? So far, so good. Nag-recover naman siya sa MA20 niya. So, I'd say that's a good dip. Right? Kevin Wu, good morning, Sir. Good morning then, Mon F. Good morning, Sir. Vita and Annie, please. Vita. Um, maganda yung pullback ni Vita and eh. nag-bounce na. Um, problema ko lang is there's a possible resistance right here. So, should you wanna enter Vita, most probably, ang pinakamagandang entry point nito is a breakout strategy. Pag nag-breakout yan, pwede nyo pong pasukin. But, ang ayoko pasukin yung muna yan ngayon kasi baka bumalik sa support, maipit po kayo. Breakout na lang for, for Vita. Anyways, nasa baba naman yung breakout na yan. So, that's okay for me. Don't I, this, these kinds of breakouts are okay for me. I don't like breakouts na nasa taas ng mga breakouts. Right? So, this is okay, right? Vita on the breakout. Ani, uh, we talked about Ani already. So, um, yeah, it's still good to enter Ani. Shells TV, GFC, B Core, Vita. GFC is showing us good signs, right? GFC sustaining that level right there. So, I'd say yes, if you see a green kay Jollibee, bilhin nyo na po habang mura pa si GFC. Um, B Core, B Core, I recommended B Core last Friday. It's already going up, so I don't want to recommend it anymore. Uh, we recommended it because MA20 bounce, my favorite entry point. So, yan. Um, umakit na si Bicor. Congratulations sa pumasok. Today, I don't want to recommend it. Medyo mataas na po yung risk para habulin pa si Bicor. Dapat nung nasa baba pa yan natin pinapasok. Si Vita, we already talked about that. Rochelle's King Bakay. Good morning, sir. Pakisinilip naman si VLL, Green Food, Meg, and X. Salamat, coach. Uh, I'll stop here for now. Alright? Um, balikan ko yung ano mo, King. I'll go... I'll go to my recommendations for today. My recommendations is in the video description. I also just posted it in the comments. So, check it out. Um, number one, si MRC. Uh, in no particular order, um, siguro I'll pick favorites ko ngayon. But MRC is one of my, one of them. Right, so far, so good. MRC is uh, confirming that support. We've been recommending MRC lately. And, yan, um, sustaining na po siya. And look at this. Beautiful price action and RSI na divergence. So, yeah. I'd say uh, MRC is doing well already. That's a good entry point for MRC. Okay. Um, MRC, pwede na po siya. Next is LPZ. Si Lopez. So far, so good. Hindi naman natitinang si Lopez. We're seeing accumulation volume. Kahit pula yan. But the volume is going up. That means buyers are getting in already. Right. So... Yeah, bias lang the support holds MA20 for L Lopez. Right? Ang kagandahan yan is napakalapit niya sa MA20. Should, uh, in case we are mistaken, if maliit naman tayo, maliit lang po ang risk. That's the beauty of this selection. Kaya po, pinili ko si LPZ. We're seeing good signals right here. Uh, even though, uh, uh, what do you call this? Even though we're seeing red, maganda naman yung volume niya. So that's bullish for LPZ. Um, next naman si NRCP, one of my favorites for today, MR, MA20 sustaining for NRCP, good company, doing well lately, first quarter earnings and last year earnings, ay maganda naman, so yeah, this stock should start moving, and perfect, MA20, and dyan pa po siya sa MA20 niya, nagsusustain yung MA20, use MA20 as your support should you want to enter NRCP, um, next is Primex, eto maganda rin si Primex, um, recommended Primex here, Right? Recommended it there. And then, boom, so uh, lumipad bigla and then bumaba. And then we have a bounce. So that's good. This is our support. But this is already a good bounce for Primex. I'd say yes, under Primex already. So far, so good. So, ito isa sa paborito ko. Si Maxes. Actually, paborito ko lahat. Ang ganda eh. Alright. So, Maxes, um, very good sign. We were talking about this pullback. The last few days. And then I told you, antay natin yung green. Pag na green yan, that will be a divergence. That's a good sign for Maxis. Bottom pickers, yung mga naghahanap ng bottom. I would say yes. Um, ito yung isa sa mga magandang bottom na pwede ninyong pasukin. Right? So, yeah. Maxis. It's already good to enter today. DNL, bodega mode kay DNL. 
um, so far so good it's sustaining already and price action is already starting to go up uh, I'd say yes magpababa uh, ang presyo so RSI is starting to go up so it's getting healthier it's starting to create a momentum again mga bottom pickers this is the bottom that we're looking for DNL bodega na po kay DNL MBT Metrobank alright so Metrobank naman um after hitting the support again, nag double bottom po siya. After hitting that support, look at the RSI. This support is much, much better for Metro Bank. So I'd say yes, just test out the support of Metro Bank. After that double bottom, we are backed up by RSI uh, on this support. So this is a better entry point for Metro Bank. So, but they got Metro Bank. Right, MPI. I'm recommending MPI for today. We're waiting. We were waiting for MPI to give us a buy position. That's a confirmation at around MA20. So yeah, guys, up, down, up, down, and pa simula na po yan mag up. So that's the best entry point to ride on MPI. Right. So just in case we're right, good. If we're wrong, at least low risk po siya. MPI starting to, to make an uptrend. FPH. So FPH naman. Um. Sa support. Nag pull back and then bounces the support. That's a better support right here. RSI is telling us that it's has better momentum in this support. So yes, FPH is in my recommendations for today. Low risk position. In po. Um, couldn't ask for more, right? I I look for. I always look for low risk positions. That's the essence of trading, right? Um, that's a good entry point for FPH. Uh, let's go to the recommendations i mean not recommendations so if you have any questions about my recommendations uh just post it on the comments i'll go back to your request since we still have much time it's still 8 49 ang bilis natin na eh. bilis ko magsalita siguro no uh vll galing ko na mag tagalog i'm amazed right araw-araw ba hindi yeah yan araw-araw <laughs> ba magsalita ng tagalog hindi ba gagaling di ba um <laughs> still remember people were bashing me because I speak English most of the time. Hirap ako mag-Tagalog. <laughs> VLL, um, so far so good. Bounce at the support. Uh, yeah, buy as long as the support holds for VLL. Um, green. Si Green naman. We recommended Green here. So far so good. Congratulations sa mga naghawak kay Green. Wait lang tayo ng pullback and bounce before we wanna enter Green. Okay? Mm. Alright, so green, masyado mataas pa po yan. That's out of position already. So as I always say, never go after missed opportunities. That's a missed opportunity. If hindi nyo po pinasok dito, dapat dito kayo po mapasok. Please, hindi yung lumilipad ng stock. Okay? So green, abang lang muna. Food. Sa so food naman, ganda na price action ni food. It's just that we have a resistance right here. And voila, it formed a an ascending triangle so should if you have the patterns cheat sheet you know where to enter this dapat diba enter on the breakout so abangan lang natin ang breakout ni food should you want to enter that stock that breakout will confirm that the stock is already bullish right so yan po so, si food abang lang tayo ng breakout si meg naman we already talked about that abang lang tayo ng pullback si x so far so good maganda na may price action ni x Right? Um, if you want to trade X, use this support. Right? Itong linya na ito. It's, this is the support it's been making lately. So, if you can enter that support, much better. Kasi pag nagkamali tayo, uh, just cut your losses. And the risk is low. But I don't want to recommend X. That's just for trading. Right? Salamat. Coach, you're welcome. Kehin Penyaloga, Morning Sir, PHA, MBT. Og Ali, salamat. We talked about PHA already. Um, wait na lang tayo sa next pullback before we wanna enter. But yeah, PHA is giving us this good trend. So that's the entry point for PHA. Um, MBT, we just talked about it. Si Ali, kamustahin ko nga si Ali. Hindi ko pa na ano si Ali. Nag-pullback to eh. Alright, so still doing a pullback. Ab abang lang tayo ng bounce. I think it's gonna bounce anytime soon. This is the previous resistance. And you know about resistances pag mag -break out. That tends to become a new support. So, abang tayo ng bounce. Right? I think it's gonna bounce today for Ali. Right? If it bounces, then that's the entry point for Ali. Um, next is Gerald Disparis. Good morning. 
Good day. Uh, yun ni Pio Kahay, Sir BSC. Please, we talked about BSC already. Let me just review. Ayan, antay lang tayo ng bounce ni BSC before we wanna enter. King Bakay Coach, nakapasok ako kay Food.71. Ano po yung price? Pwede bumitaw. Food. Um, food. Um, 0.71. Malit pa lang yun na. 0.71 is your average. Um... Right now, it's just at 3% gain pa lang. Napakalit pa lang yan. Um, pwede bumitaw. If ever, mag-breakout. Pwede nyo po bentahan dyan. Mag-breakout, sell half there. 8%, that's already good. I'll win nyo to sell half. Pag nag-breakout, you can sell half. Right? Okay. So, um, asa na ako? Sir, may news po ba uh, po on the ICT na baka bigyan nila Ms. Datel ng permit to operate this month? Yes, that's already expected. We were, actually, may delays pa nga yan eh. Right, so, June, lalabas na yung permit to operate ni Ms. Latel, but Ms. Latel has already been deploying. Kahit pa po, wala pa po yung permit nila, they've already been constructing everything. So, hindi lang sila nagkukuha ng subscribers. But now, may permit to operate na. So, that's very good, right? I think, uh, that's gonna be a good spike for Miss Latel if it opens well. But for now, I'm not yet really, uh, not yet really optimistic with that. Um, kasi kakasimula pa lang yan. We'll see in the future if maganda yung galaw talaga nila. But I've, I've already been recommending ISM for, for almost a year now. <laughs> diba? So, just keep buying the dips. I think it's gonna be doing well in the future. Especially that nakapartner na si China. And China has already been China tell Huawei and everyone in China has been already leading in 5G so for sure mauna yan si ISM sa 5G pag nagbitaw ng 5G um, pag nag-release na ng 5G ang mundo so that's gonna be very big for Miss Latel so that's something I am looking forward to that's why I've been always recommending ISM po on the pullbacks still speculative everything speculative but Somehow, sometimes eh, you need to take good risks. I'm betting on the uh, on this move. It's uh, it's it's backed up by the government. It's partnered by very good companies, very stable companies. So I don't see how uh, it's gonna be very hard for it to fail, right? Especially ngayon, ang nananalo is the government um, is the um, the government itself, uh, mga um, the opposition is not winning, so konti na lang po ang kontra dyan. So, yeah. I think that's gonna be very good. That's gonna make fast track everything. Okay? Um, medyo natagalan yan sila dahil dun sa opposition, ba? But right now, konti na lang po opposition, sa, especially sa Senate. So, I think it's gonna fast track everything. Pab Zita, uh, Sir Coach, consider bang bounce yung mga ganitong candle ni PXP po last Friday? Let's check out PXP. PXP. Um, considered bounce even if it's red. Yes, because it's sustained. It's sustaining a price. Um, pero mas maganda kong green. Right? I would say wait for the green talaga. Just for confirmation's sake, you don't have to be aggressive in this stock since it's still on a sideways trend naman. So, agbang lang ng green kay PXP. Pa, Zita, sir, yung LSC at LRW, Lorenzo Shipping, Ito, kakabounce lang kasi nito sa MA20. But yeah, MA20, if it goes back down to MA20, definitely buy it. Just cut loss below it, okay? And then, LSC, LRW, magkakambal ito sila ni LR. Eh. So, it broke MA20, so I think mag-stabilize pa ito. So, I want it to stabilize first before I wanna recommend LRW uh, for now. Uh, Oli, Florentine, CHP naman, Sir Lloyd, downturn pa po si CHP. So, ingat lang muna. It's just a little review of the chart. Still doing lower highs and lower lows. So, pababa pa po si HP. Ingat lang po muna. Um, Emily Gold, sir. Isang, isa lang yung nakopya ko sa mga stocks mo sa eToro. Isa lang yung nakopya ko sa mga stocks mo sa eToro. Um, I'm not sure why. Okay naman yung spreads ko. I mean hindi naman ito maliliit na amounts. Baka naka, ano ka, baka naka, uh, copy future trades. Uh, hindi, hindi mo na click yung op, uh, copy open trades. Right? So, baka, kaya hindi mo na open yung mga positions. Um, 
for sure, most probably Microsoft lang meron ka, Emily. So, just send me a message. Let's check that out later. Okay? I'll do my best to answer you. So, nga lang, medyo hirap. I have visitors today. Yung mga pinsan ko from overseas. Mawi dito. And I'm tasked to be the driver. <laughs> Kasi nagkasakit si mom ko. So, yeah. I'm gonna be having a hard time answering everyone. But I'll do my best. Okay? Send me a message, Emily. Gerard, Gerard, Gerardo Raimundo Buenas. Coach, I've been copying a few people in Toro. When do you get out and get in again? Taas kasi ng withdrawal fee. I would say, hold it there until you earn around, siguro mga $200. Right? Once you have $200, I'd say withdraw that if you want to withdraw those gains. $200 should be enough to cover for the fees. Anyways, bigyan lang natin kay Itoro yan. Libre naman. Yan. Mahal kaya mag-sustain ng ganyan na system. Diba? Anyways, um, yeah, $200. Just withdraw in bulks. Right? Maramihan po kung mag-withdraw kayo para um, it will compensate for the withdrawal fee. Well, Joffrey Jr. Alob. Hi, sir. Good morning. Watching here from Oman. Web, sir. Thanks. Si Web, doing well. Right? Say yes. Si Web, tignan niyo po yung uptrend line niya. Diyan kayo pumasok. Um... Jojo Hilvano, Sir Lloyd, good morning. Aba po, take profit na ba? Uh, depende kung saan ka nakapasok. Wait for it to reach resistance first. And then, pag nag-fail sa resistance, dyan mo muna siya ibenta. Huwag muna ngayon. Medyo malayo-layo pa resistance eh, for Aba. Diba? Um, Observer Tan, hi Sir Lloyd, do you trade currencies on eToro as well? I haven't traded currencies in eToro yet. At can you say about BSP statement discount discouraging trade traders from trading forex? Um, I don't really see why they should stop it. The only reason why they're stopping it is because they're not getting um, tax tax from it. Even kay ano sa mga international traders, yun lang pinakarason eh. But if you should say discouraging it because it's a scam or anything that's not a problem it's not really a scam it's just taking risk and trading in the international market since napakaliit lang na opportunities binibigay sa atin dito sa PSE di ba? they're just discouraging it because the government isn't getting anything from those so if you want to I will not stop you from trading international markets uh, forex most especially kasi yun yung tinatpinupunteria nila so yeah, um, if you can just go ahead, right? June Shanhos, good morning, sir. Pa check naman po si ANS. Right, so ANS resistances tayo. Wait for the pullbacks. Ang ganda ng mga pullback nito. Right, wait for the pullback and enter before you wanna enter. Um, your problema ko lang is I don't know the fundamentals of the company, so I need to. You need to know for sure. If ever sa tingin mo maganda itong company nito, you check the fundamentals already. Wait for the pullback. Ay nagpo pullback pala. Eto nang pala. Right. So hindi to pala impression yung ayon. Um. Yeah, test it out. Use the MA20 as your support for ANS. Good job. Good find. Right. Um. June, Diorico Dosena. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Watching from Oman. Good morning po sa inyo. Ay, bumaba. Bigla yung comments. Rolly, Ignacio. Sir, ano po? Ano na po ang latest sa MBT? I'm recommending MBT for today. TBGI Coach. Please say, TBGI. Hirap na pasukin eh. Hirap maghanap ng entry ngayon. But should you wanna enter? Uh, yeah, I think this is a breakout. Anyways, yes, this is a pattern right here. This is a breakout. So, yeah. Pwede niyo pong testing in yan, but I'd rather wait for a pullback. Itong chat, this is, these positions are very challenging, eh, di ba? I give you TBGI here at the entry. Um, ngayon, medyo mataas na siya. Very high risk position. Just use a breakout strategy from this resistance right here. Pag na-break yung linya na yan, just cut your losses, okay? So for TBGI, should you want to enter it, I would really wait, or really love to wait for it to do a pullback before you want to enter so alang hirap na um, we can't be um, it can't be uh, hindi ay we're not guaranteed any positions once it's up there and hindi natin alam kung tuloy tuloy ba yung pag akyat niya hindi tayo sure kung bigyan ng pullback swerte natin kung bigyan tayo ng magandang pullback but if not just let it go um, Marco Barin Sok and Web Coach Sok is Medyo mahina na si Sok ngayon eh. Right? Um, we do have a good trend line right here. 
Hirap nito. Um, I'd say wait for the M820. At least may base tayo. Uh, if you wanna enter SOC. I cannot recommend it. Though, there's a good trend right there. Um, yeah, follow this trend lang. Follow this trend right here. If mag-bounce yan today, pwede nyo po i-test. Pero test by lang ha. Huwag masyado malaki for that stock. Um, si Web, we talked about Web already. Emily Golds, congratulations sir. Ang galing-galing mo na magtagalog. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. uh, Oliver Francisco, good morning po. How do you qualify a stock as low risk? Sir Lloyd, low risk, it's because we have a good support for our price action. Right? Uh, for example, it's MBT. Right? So MBT. MBT. Right? So it's not about the stock. I always pick good stocks already. So the stocks, good fundamentally stock, good fundamentally good stocks are already low risk stocks. Why? It has better chances than other stocks that are not doing well as a company, de ba? I just say this is low risk because we have a support, and that's you know support, de ba? Supports are where people start buying, and that's right there. So low risk yeah because the our may all cut loss when you're trading you always have cut losses our cut loss hindi pa nga makita dito yung cut loss eh, uh, my cut loss for this area uh, for this stock is negative 3 below support right so negative 3 is right there so my cut loss is still very far away so if I enter here my risk is only negative 3.63% that's uh, that's a risk I am willing to take for the possible upside of this stock, which is very good. Malaki pa ng pwedeng upside niyan. Um, but direct resistances are here. This is just a weak resistance. Siguro ito yung pinakamalaki niya. It's 646. That's good enough, right? Okay na yung risk na akin. I risk 3%, I can gain 6%. That's good for me, right? That's why I say this is low risk, very low risk position. Kasi nasa 3% lang ang risk natin for that stock, for this current position. Right, I have a video about risk to reward ratio. I wanted to check check it out. Let me open this. Uh, go to YouTube and then search for risk to reward ratio. Reward ratio Lloyd Bazaar. Siempre sarili ko hindi Lloyd Banks. <laughs> Sino ba yung Lloyd Banks na yan? Lloyd Bazaar. <laughs> Nalala ko yung mga kaibigan ko. Ah, uh, mga kaibigan ko. Tinatawa ko Lloyd Banks dati. So, bakit tayo lumabas nung sa akin? Risk versus reward. Risk to reward ratio. Pwede kay Rainer na lang muna. Hindi ko mahanap yung sa akin eh. I'm, I'll just look for it later on. I'll see bakit hindi siya lumalabas dito. Dapat lumalabas yung akin sa risk to reward ratio. Okay? <laughs> Hanapin ko lang. Pero yeah, look for risk to reward ratio. These videos are uh, very helpful. This videos, uh, this trading strategy, if you apply that in your trading, that's gonna be a very big help for you. Nga pala guys, this is our Discord uh, chat room sa mga nagtitrade during the day at medyo naiinip. And you want people, you want to communicate with people who has the same uh, pares na mga gusto sa inyo nagtitrade din. Uh, join the chat room so that your trading will not be uh, boring. Also for the newbies, uh, para may guidance po kayo. Discord, download Discord first. And once you download the Discord, go to the video description and makikita niyo po yan. Dyan, for example, uh, sorry, close yung ano ko. Uh, for example, here, okay, so, no, not that one. Kitchen Nightmares. Bakit Kitchen Nightmares yung nag-open? Right, so, for example, Daily grind. Alright, so daily grind. Uh, pag tin yun na isang video, jan, de ba? Best entry point. And then just go to the video description. Click on this show more. Makita niyo po jan. May Discord group. Right, just click on that. mga pasok po kayo sa chat room right away. Create an eToro account. And jan po yung link ko. Right, so uh, and jan po yung mga links na mga kailangan niyo pong Malaman, right? I always post it there. And then, po sa video description. That's the video description I'm talking about. I'm gonna go back to the comments, right? Um, asa na ako? Talang ha? 
Si Emily Golds, ako sir, 10 years pa bago na buo yung Tagalog ko. <laughs> Tagal-tagal rin ha. At Oliver Francisco and James Randy. Guys, chat room. Very good. 3VC main chat room. Uh, this is our main chat room. Dito yung medyo serious na mga tao yung ayaw makulit. Dito po kayo magtambay sa TVC main chat room. If you have any questions, you can post it here. Sa mga gusto ng kakulitan dito sa Traders Lounge, these are the rowdy types and, di and dito yung mas, ma mas matindi ang chat dito. Pero wala pong bashing dito. Okay, we control that. So this is gonna be a very healthy uh, uh, chat room for you guys. So should you prefer to be on a serious note, dito kayo sa main chat room. Sa medyo makulitan, gusto niyo mga may ma makilala na mga mag magaling na traders at um, para lively naman yung trading nyo. Dito kay sa Traders Lounge, uh, meron dito Investors Lounge, meron dito eToro Lounge para sa mga questions about eToro. We, as much as possible, we help everyone. Right? So, join the chat room. That's gonna be a very good help, especially for you traders. Kung kailangan nyo ng guidance. Kasi wala ako all the time, so other traders can help you here. Maraming magaling na traders dyan. Shout out to the trading group. Alright, um, James, Randy, uh, good morning coach, SMPH. SMPH nag-bounce eh. So, I, I, I'm planning to recommend SMPH right today. Alright, this is a good... Uh, no, this is a good bounce for SMPH. Actually, yes, why not? Diba? SMPH is already good to buy. Sa mga nag-aabang ng entry point, that's the best entry point for SMPH. Hindi ko lang siya recommend kasi masyado marami na yung recommendations ko. But anyways, I've, al I've always been recommending SMPH. So yeah, SMPH is good to go today. CPG naman, nagpo-pull back. Um, I'm just waiting for one more green before I want to recommend CPG again. Um, so congratulations sa mga nag nag-aabang ang CPG. That's a good that's a good point to wait for CPG. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay CPG. I've been recommending that so many sabay pa ni ISM yan. <laughs> Congratulations. Ariel Clemente, Coach, good morning IDC po. Thanks a lot. Si IDC medyo mataas na yung bounce niya ngayon. So let's just wait for the next pullback. We've been recommending IDC here, di ba? So abang lang tayo ulit sa pagbaba ni IDC. Um, for now, masyadong mataas na siya. Stevens Castillo, good morning, sir. VLL, thanks. VLL. So just buy as long as the support holds for VLL. Tristan Manalo, sir. I am I po. Kumustain ko nga sa I am I. Na recommend ko to dati. Yeah, it's still sustaining the support. Kaya pala. Right, so I am I. Buy as long as the support holds. Look at this divergence right here, guys. This is something you always want to look for. That's momentum in the stock. Even if nanjan pa lang yan sa support niya, but it's showing us good momentum. So that's a very healthy support. A very low risk right now sa IMI. So on the bounce, just buy it. Okay? Um, Amil Angelo, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, everyone. Happy investing. Today will be a good day. ISM. Yes, ISM. Star. Looking good. OFW Trader, teaser City naman. We talked about this or earlier. So, abang tayo ng break. Uh, I think it's gonna form, form a um, descending triangle. But one entry point is here. That's an aggressive entry point. A second entry point is a breakout from that downtrend. Uh, Jing Manaog. Manaog, yes. Uh, good morning, sir. MY. MY is still on a downtrend. So, stay away lang muna. Um, copy, sir. Emily, uh, Juno Lang, good morning sir, follower from Riyadh, good morning po sa inyo dyan, napakaaga po po sa Riyadh ngayon, uh, for you guys to wake up so early in the morning, uh, just for the daily grind, thank you so much, para po mag-trade, matuto mag-trade, that's a very big uh, sacrifice from you guys, mabuhay po kayo dyan, King Bakay, ingat ka coach, thank you so much, Eric Espeo, Sir Lloyd, pwede ba palitan later yung credit card na nakaregister sa Etoro, yes you can always, um, change it. Gear Trader, Sir Ethereum po ba? Pwede nang bilhin. Nasa 2367 na po. Masayin natin si Ethereum. ETH. Ah. Downtown pa. <laughs> it touched the lower Bollinger Band and you know what these signs are. So I don't want to recommend Ethereum yet. I was waiting for this stock to up in i was really waiting for it to go bullish again but somehow the supports are failing so somehow bearish pa po ang pinapakita ng ethereum so i'd stay away from it for now okay gear trader sir ethereum we just talked about that kilabuero good morning sir lloyd good morning then diva trader good morning sir ac ali uh, we talked about ac i mean ali already so ac kamustahin natin 
So far, so good. I'd, be re I'd recommend an AC here. Like breakout siya. Maybe this on the bounce from that breakout risk previous resistance will be a good entry point for AC. Ali, Meg, SMPH, tapos na po yan lahat. So, yun lang po ang babasahin ko for now. Um, happy Tambay, Sir Lloyd, ATN, please. ATN, so far, so good. I recommended ATN kasi dito sa baba. And it's already starting to go up. Nagpo-pull back siya, but somehow not uh, very tricky yung pull back and bounce niya so I, it's hard for me to recommend but definitely just keep buying the dips kay ATN sabi ko sa inyo pasok dito di ba uh, medyo mataas na po siya ngayon so really hard to uh, to recommend it right now uh, AG Suarez LTG sir si LTG rin tinitignan ko ito eh. I'm just waiting for LTG to really um, ano uh, what was that uh, we talked about I think recommended LTG last Friday di ba um, gumalaw na pala si LTG yeah. um, it's still okay still good to go si LTG yes still still a buy Betsy Magbanwa good morning Max Dads uh, how about SEC coach si SEC medyo nawalan pa ako ng gana kay SEC right so so far ay, maganda naman pala yung movement ni SEC ah. magawa naman siya ng support um, yeah maybe the support is gonna be good right um, we have a divergence right here which is good so yeah, I think this is a support. You can test out the support of SEC at least to low risk. Yeah, just in case you're right, that's gonna be a very good climb for SEC, right? Betsy, magbanwa, sir, need bantin pag mag-open ng account sa Itoro. No, not really, right? So all you need is a billing address and then a valid international ID, passport, license can be used also. B uh, NBI na hindi expired, pwede nga yun, di ba? So um, no need for tin, right? Kai Doring, do you have a target price for CPG? Wala pa akong nakikita ang target price kay CPG. Eh. As long as the trend is there, right? I don't really usually set a target price. Um, if the stock is on a strong uptrend, maganda na may uptrend ni CPG. Ang ganda ng volume on, these, uh, on this spikes right here. So, yeah, if you're gonna ask me a good target price, 0.69 is very, gonna be a good price to be targeted uh, since that's a strong resistance right there. So, so far, so good. Um, Ome Aurelio Trading International should be tax-free. It is like working as an OFW. We get tax-free incentives because we bring a lot of earnings home. Actually, nagbabayad tayo ng tax kasama niya ng fees. Pero sa international, si Itoro na nagkuku nagkakaltas niyan. Okay? Para rin yun silang broker. Kinakaltasan yung vice natin. Right. Shirley Louise, AFL entry 55. Sh Shirley Louise. Uh, 55.24 with a stop loss of 2.43 with a price target um, good 4.36 to 1 let me check that out AFL good point Ome Aurelio about that no? um, price target is at 65 siguro from the ano uh this is from the uh, this is a good company doing well lately right patas ng pataas right so this is good yeah check it out um i'm not sure if nasa itoro ito aflac fl it's here right, let's check out the research this is the beauty of itoro you have access to research tingnan natin magkano yung target price 64 right that's very good 63.33 ang target Good trade, I know. Um, surely getting better. Right. This is very helpful for you guys, right? Um, still a buy analysis for AFL. Check this out. Okay. Um, Ome Aurelio. So <clears throat> we should tr try our best to trade smart internationally, bring home earnings as well. If more loss, I do not know. <laughs> yes, definitely, right? Um, let's try. Ang laki ng pera na nasa international market. Why should, uh, bakit tayo magtitiis sa PSE, di ba? Gerard Raimundo Buenas, coach. Follow up with my query earlier about withdrawal fee sa Itoro. Does the withdrawal fee apply by follower? Or if you withdraw from all your all you follow is a charge lang? Hindi. Um, wala pong charge pag nag-stop ka ng copy trade. Alright? Copy trade is free. It's only, you're only charged if you withdraw funds from the account itself, from your available balance, di ba? For example, um, let's go to ano, let's go to my virtual portfolio so that we can differentiate this properly. So here, um, this is allocated funds right here. So 393, uh, 3934. This is the funds that I am allocated in copy trading. So these are funds that I cannot touch kasi nakakopya pa yan. If I stop 
copy trading Choco Win. Right there. Yeah. Nag-copy trade ako sa virtual. Nag-gain na ako yung Choco Win. Alright. So, if I stop, remove funds, mag, pag nag-remove funds ako, walang charge yan. Right? The funds, which is 2,006, alright, um, 2,700, um, 2,071, pag nag-stop ako, that will be added to my available balance. Now, my available balance is one I can withdraw. Right, if I withdraw here, that's on the only time I can be I will be charged. If you stop copy trading, wala pong charge yan. Giovanzar DMC and DD Salamat DMC MC, right? DMC. Right, so far so good. Uh, on a breakout lang just to be sure for DMC, that's an ascending triangle. Si DD naman, kumusta natin sa double dragon? I haven't been recommending double dragon lately. Kasi nasa resistance na tayo, I've been recommending DD here and DD here. Uh, no, not there. Here, I believe I was here. I forgot, but I've been recommending DD before. So, those are the best entry points for DD right now. Nasa resistance na po tayo. Um, ingat lang muna. Abner, special coach, come before the storm. Seminar lesson. Thank you for applied it on FLI. Yes, Bollinger Band lessons natin. FLI. Grab is FLI. Makit ngayon. After, very good, ano, very good, um, what do you call this? Uh, um, consolidation right there. There it is. Congrats to FLI. Coach Query and former students want to have access to recorded seminars. Detail and price, please. Send me a message, Abner. Dapat libre lang yan for my previous students, right? So, just send me a message. I'll try my best to answer today. I'm gonna be very busy today. Sir, can you please check STI, please? From This is from Lolita. STI. Time check, it's 9.19. So, bilisan ko lang. So, it's doing a pullback, right? This is a good bounce right here. But as much as possible, I want it to create a support first. Maybe there or MA20 as much as possible for STI. So, wag lang po muna. Zer, Zscalar Incorporated po ba? Zscalar. Hindi ko pa kilala yung mga company na yan. Let's check out ZS, ZS Color. Yan. Right, chart. Tingnan natin ang chart. Kakalabas lang nito. Z, ano yung, ano niya? ZS, no? ZS, ZS. Alright, so, I use um, tradingview.com for my charting. Alright, so, I cannot say if it's on an uptrend since we have support here. There's a higher high, pero wala naman tayo higher low. So, it's on a sideways trend as of the moment. So, we're re reaching resistances. Best to wait for it to make a pullback or go back to support before you want to enter. But ZS doing good. Earnings, medyo pangit yung first quarter niya. Last year, okay naman yung last year niya. I haven't really checked the... Ang daming companies international, hindi ko mapag-aralan lahat. Right, so, hide for now. Um, Shirley, Luis, MSFT. Ganda, um, ganda yun si Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft uh, Michael SJ I've also entered Microsoft right now if you want to check out my port I keep my port uh, public to everyone so yeah um, portfolio ko ngayon and dyan si Microsoft I just entered it on a breakout still has a good um, good upside so maganda pa rin um, Michael SJ Sir Lloyd ba pag mag withdraw ng $20 magkano po ba charge if you go gain only $25 $25 din ang charge and you don't you don't withdraw $25 right so kasi per transaction po yan $25 pang fees kahit kung $20 na i-withdraw nyo lugi pa kayo sa fees so wag po right um, pataasin nyo po muna yung gains ninyo before kayo mag-withdraw okay um, that's all the comments I got so that's it for today right good job um, guys again newsletter that's something I wanna share with you guys again so please go to the registration link and dyan po sa uh, andyan po sa video description um, let me post it again in the chat room para makita nyo po kaagad um, it's gonna look like it's a very simple registration you just put in your email and your eToro uh, account and then you can join the newsletter already as much as possible I will want to send newsletter every night giving you my views anong pwede nyo pasukin so you can trade on your own in the international market hindi lang pa copy copy trade diba uh, a student of mine started copying me and then nag-trade siya sarili niya. He joined the competition on eToro. It's still ongoing, the competition. And he won $5,000. Amazing. Quarter of a million just for trading. So, check it out. Right. Good morning. Insights on I and Bell from Abib Shabebs. 
right? Sir, sa ituro po ba enough na $1,000 to earn decent amount? Yes, that's already enough, right? But you earn in proportion, okay? Uh, in percentage. So, if you earn 5% in a month, $1,000, uh, 1% is 10. So, that's around $50. Okay na rin yan, di ba? So, it really depends on to you kung okay na sa inyo yung $50 so yung ganun na percentage. Okay? Um, lastly lang, meron pahabol dito si Abib Shabeb since we still have time. Um, I, tingnan natin chart ni I. Good morning sir, ask ko lang po yung record nyo for SM and BHI. BHI, ah, hindi ko pa na check yan. So, hopefully still have time. Si I naman siya, yeah, good gumagawa naman ng support, I'd say yes for price action wise and um, haven't checked I remits fundamentals lately so I'm not really sure on that stock. Si Bell naman um, nagpo-pull back pa, antay lang ng bounce si Bell, that should be good. Diva Trader, right? um, Jason De La Cruz, good morning sir, ask ko lang po yung record nyo for SM and BHI last na ito guys, right? habol lang SM, so nasa resistance ba si SM? If it breaks out, then yes, breakout strategy for that and BHI, I just talked about this today, earlier. Maganda na may price action niya. Pababa ang presyo do, but RSI is starting to go up. So, it should stabilize anytime soon. Um, we're waiting for stabilization. Pag stabilize yan, yes, definitely an enter. For, for now, wag muna. Okay, so, that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Enjoy your Monday. Enjoy your week. I'll do my best to answer everyone. Oh nga pala guys, if you want access to my seminar. I have recorded videos sa seminar ko. Send me a message, right? I don't have any weekend seminars anymore, but still, if you want to join the seminar, send me a message. I can give you access to the replays. Also, Davao, abangan nyo po, July 13, we're just fi finalizing the venue. July 13, I'll see you there, Davao. Hopefully, I'll see everyone there. And August, August, first week of August, Sa room Italy po tayo, still finalizing the venues. I'll post more about that this week. And sa mangista.org, punta pa ako na Mindanao this Wednesday or Thursday to document the start of the construction of the uh, of the cages. We're still right on schedule. Dapat ang construction will start on June 18. But we're starting it earlier since napaka-blessed um, napaka po ng project. So many investors um, opted in and puno na po ang slots natin. Thank you so much po for the help. I'll see you again tomorrow. Us as always, let's get rich together. Bye-bye.